All right, hello everybody. Welcome to our Getting Started Right Call, first one of February. So I am recording this one. So if you're watching the recording, welcome. So I want to, there's definitely gonna be time for Q&A, um, but I want to kind of keep this really brief so that when we do, you know, maybe send this off to new coaches, um, it can be it can be a quick video for them to watch. So I wanted to go over, um, I want to kind of simplify this, right? We all need things in our life simplified. And I know that many of you recently watched me kind of pull together in the Beachbody Champions page an hour long video of just kind of everything that I do when I'm connecting and talking to people. And I kind of just want to do a quick version, a smaller version of that here. Um, to break it down for new coaches, seasoned coaches, veteran coaches, whoever wants to kind of get moving and grooving in their business. These coach basics are for everyone, not just new coaches. You can always go back and watch my hour long action hour that I did last two, um, week. <laughs> I don't know the day. I don't know if it was Tuesday or Wednesday. Um, Tuesday? Yes. I don't know. Tuesday or Wednesday last week in the Beachbody Champions page. So if you if you go to Beachbody Champions um, Facebook page and you request to join, they will approve you, and then you can go and either search my name or search Action Hour. Um, search my name because I I didn't call it Action Hour. I called it something else. So, um, anywho, so I want to I want to talk about you know as a new coach, as a seasoned coach, as someone who's really wanting to make this business work, there are four things that we're going to cover tonight that for you to do. And we're going to break them down into 15 minute increments so that that technically is your power hour every single day so that you feel like you've accomplished something. There may be days where you can do a second hour of this. There may be days where you can add in some training. There may be days that um, this is all you get done and that's okay. So I want to kind of give you that. But I first want to give you an overview of running this business and being a business owner and treating this like a business. And one of the reasons why people tend to not be as successful as other people in this business is because this they fit this in when they can and that's no way to run a business or they um they're still waiting for someone to tell them what to do You're, they're still in that employee mindset right and you've got to kind of shift to a ceo mindset so um i was actually getting my teeth cleaned last week or the week before and you know she was like oh do, do you have the day off it's the same hygienist who sees me every six months, so I've told her numerous times what I do, but I'm sure she sees 25 miles a day, so she doesn't remember. But um, I said, oh, I work from home. And she said, what do you do? I said, I'm an online health and fitness coach with Beachbody. I've partnered with Beachbody. So I, that's what I always say. I'm an online health and fitness co coach, and I've partnered with Beachbody. So it's your business, and Beachbody is your partner. So you're not a Team Beachbody coach. You don't work for Team Beachbody, right? You're an independent contractor, and you've partnered with Beachbody. You're able to use their products and programs to run your business, which is great, right? Um, and she said right to me, I could never do that. I need someone to tell me what time I have to be here and what I'm supposed to do in the office. And of course, you know, she's in my mouth, so I'm not going to go over those objections with her because <laughs> everybody can do this, but, you know, they tend to ask you these questions when you're like, oh, 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 oh. So I just kind of was like, yeah, you know, it takes, it takes someone to, you know, you got to kind of have that shift where you're not an employee anymore and you're a CEO. And so one of the first things we ask of you as a new coach, season coach, veteran coach, you've always got to revisit this, is to think about your why. I'd like to come up with some other terminology of this because um, it's I think it's overplayed and it's been used for so long, but it's basically the reason why you said yes to this business, the reason why you will get up every day and work this business. And so the reason that will push you because there's going to be days where you fall into that, oh, I'm just too tired to work this business today. Or there's going to be days you fall into seriously five people told me no yesterday I just can't do it today right there's gonna be 
times where you, you're going to have to push yourself. And I often revisit my why when that happens. Because it still happens to me eight and a half years later. I mean, I love this business. It's fun. Um, but there are definitely days where I would for sure love to put on Netflix. But I have to remind myself, you've got to do this, these things first. Um, I do give myself time on Fridays to kind of just veg a little, chill out, watch some NCIS, and just kind of relax. Um, but I do do a few things first in my business, and then I allow myself to do that on Saturday nights as well before I hit the pillow. So there are there are things that I'm going to share with you here, but I want you to, one of the first things that I shared that we've all been doing recently, and it, it's making a huge difference. I know it's making a huge difference in my power hour. And I, I'm, if I can speak for Tracy, Tracy's going to say that this is making a huge difference in her power hour too. But one of the, I, when I, um, I, I don't know if it was last week or the week before, one of our power hour assignments, I just came up with on a whim on the, off the top of my head. Before you start, your first assignment was to find a song that pumps you up, gets you excited, gets you moving, whatever that is. Like for me, it used to be like Eye of the Tiger, right? And like you just think of like the Rocky movies and just like, ah, oh, you know, just coming out on top. Um, but lately it's um, A Million Dreams or something from The Greatest Showman. Um, this is me, like I, just those words are powerful or Lose Yourself by Eminem. I know he's fresh, but like there's just some words that he says that I'm like, oh, he's right. You only get one shot at this life and this opportunity is right in front of us and we've got to take it, right? And so listening to those words and I, and I turn it up so loud. Like I turn it up. Um, Mark's probably was like, what is she doing? Right. Um, but I turn up the music so loud. Sometimes I'll listen to all three of those songs, a million dreams. This is me and lose yourself. And I will just journal the entire time. And I'll sometimes journal the words out. You only get one shot. Come on, this is your opportunity. And, and I'll write it. And then I'll write, you know, what my why is, what my dreams are, what the next five years look like. And I'll just start journaling all of that out. And it feels so good. It's like a release every day. It's a little therapy session. And then you're ready to do these four things because you are like, whoo, on top of the world. You're like, okay, I'm ready. Like, I can do this. This is what I was meant to do. Let, let's go change some lives, right? And so your energy is immediately lifted. So you've got to kind of find those songs that just get you get you moving and grooving and you can alternate them. You know, some days I'll, I'll do one, two, three, some days I'll do all of them if I need it. Um, and then here's what I need you to do next. So you know your why you're sharing it. You're like, Oh, I'm ready. You've listened to the music. You're pumped up. Um, the next thing you want to do is have your list. You want to either make your list if you haven't done it yet, or you want to pull out your list. So you always want to have a master list. Okay, as a network marketer, you should always have a master list, wherever this needs to be. If this is an Excel spreadsheet, if this is notes on your phone, if this is um, a CRM that you're using, um, whatever it is, or if it's pen and paper. For me, it's pen and paper. And so one of the first things that I have done, and I still do every six months, is I will go through my Facebook list and I will write down 100 names. The first 100 names that come up, skipping Beachbody coaches, right? Skipping all of you. I'm not gonna write you guys down, right? But it'd be, you'd be an easy sell. But um, so I just go and I just write down 100 names. So that's gonna be your first 15 minutes of this power hour. You're writing 100 names. If you already have a list, you're adding to this. You're like, okay, I've already done this, now I'm gonna add 10 names a day or something. Um, wherever that may come from, I would do things like I would go to Mark's friends list and I would go and friend 10 people on his list or I would go to my um, holiday card list and I would go and friend people from that that I wasn't friends with yet or um, I would start thinking of past coworkers. If you put in your Facebook, if you go and fill out your entire like biography, you put every place you worked. Um, every place you went to school, if you put all of that in there, suggested friends will come up for you that also 
worked at all those places. So they may be past coworkers and oh crap. I actually, this just happened to me the other day on Instagram. I was like, oh my gosh. And I saw her post and I was like, Gina, oh my gosh, I haven't talked to you in so long. Like it was just like, and, it, and that's all I said is I, I got excited to talk to her, but we'll go over that part in a second. But I just write down, <coughs> uh-oh, I'm choking, I'm getting excited. <coughs> I write down my list, I add to my list. So that's your first 15 minutes after you've pumped yourself up with some M&M, right? Then you are going to start connecting and inviting people. So you've got to have, and this doesn't, this isn't a separate list. You're still looking at this list. So you're going to count to 10 people on the list and you're going to draw a line and you're going to do the next 10 and you're going to draw a line. And the first 10 you're going to go through and you're going to ask yourself, who are these people? And what do they need from you right now? Do they need an invite yet? Or should you still just be connecting with them? So what is that criteria? For me, it's like if I haven't talked to this person since high school, I I'm not going to send them a message saying, oh my gosh, I just started a new business and I have a group starting. I want you, right? Like I'm going to go to their Facebook. I'm going to look at their last five to 10 posts. I'm going to maybe comment and like on them learn a little bit about them, maybe look at their about, and then go and send them a message and be like, oh my gosh, Sue, I haven't talked to you in so long. It looks like you have a couple of kids and you're married. Like, what's going on? How's life? I can't believe it was however many years ago we graduated. Actually, a kid just posted the other day, hey, everybody, class of 94, it was 25 years ago. I'm like, no, it wasn't. Quiet. <laughs> um, so whatever, you know, you're just going to kind of see who those, who that person is. And you're just going to, that's called a connection. It's called a connection. And you're not going to think in your head, oh my gosh, when can I get them an invite? Like, uh, that is like such a common question for me. I hear from many coaches. Okay, now what do I do? When do I send them an invite? When do I invite them to my challenge group? You have to let that play out very naturally or this business is going to feel icky, right? So you just, they're just on your list for right now, okay? The next person on your list may be someone that you've talked to in the past year. That's, to, in my eyes, you could certainly send them an invite. You could be like, oh my gosh, I know we haven't talked in, you know, in about a year. Like last time I talked, this is what you were doing. And then you could certainly send them an invite that may say something like, um, hey, I was just thinking of you. I just happened at your post, just happened to come up on my Facebook. And I have a health and fitness accountability group starting in two weeks. I would love to tell you more about that. I'm not quite sure if you've even been following my posts or kind of what I'm doing, but um, I would love to tell you more. Is that something you're interested in? Like very nonchalant, very low key. It doesn't have to have a script. There's no magic words. It just has to be a natural conversation. Um, and just, and just feel whatever that may feel like and, and don't force it and just enjoy it and just do it. Um, there may be someone on your list that you did invite a year ago. That is absolutely okay. Hey, I know we talked a couple months, let's say a couple months. I know we talked a couple months ago and you weren't quite ready to join my November accountability group. What do you think now in February? I have a new one starting. I thought of you. I wanted you to be one of the first people I reached out to because I only have five slots and I would love to, you know, chat with you about it. And so a lot of my wording, if you do want to hear some keywords, is I'm not sure if you've seen my recent posts. Um, I would love to invite you to check out my accountability group. Is that something you'd like to hear more about? Now, the only way the first sentence is going to work is if you are consistent on social media. You can't say, I'm not sure if you've seen my recent posts because they may be all of your dog. <laughs> and they'll be like, yes, and your dog is adorable. Now what do you want? Right? So you've got you you've got to post consistently about your journey. Okay? Which is going to be step number 3. So you're going to I'm not going to go through all those 10 people, right? But you get the idea around the connection and inviting. You've got to find out of those first 10 people, if those are 
all connections, if you're like, shoot, I haven't talked to any of these people in five to 10 years, go to the next 10 and find at least two people to invite. They're in an invite section session for you. Like they're at a point where it would be okay to invite, okay? Or, or re-invite. Remember, invites can be someone who said no a lot before too. So these can be, a, an invite can be someone, hey, I know you weren't ready. Are you ready now type thing, right? Or a past customer, past coach. They're always coming back, honestly. They go and try those other things and they're always coming back. So, um, so if you get first through those first 10 and you're like, crap, no one was at a point to invite, please try to find at least two people a day that it's appropriate for you to invite. Even if that's mom, dad, brother, sister, uncle, aunt that you've already invited and they said no before, just to practice even, just to practice. Forcing yourself to do two a day, <laughs> right? Now, later on, you are gonna come back to these lists. Like you're gonna get through your 100 in the next, 10 days or whatever, and then you're gonna circle back around and still kind of connect again with those people. And then do kind of do that again. You know, you still wanna make sure you're connecting. If it's someone that you like, you've started connecting and then you start seeing their posts and you're like, okay, yeah, no, I don't want them in my tribe. It's for sure, cross them off the list. Don't force, if don't think of them as a body or someone that I just got to invite everybody. <laughs> like, if there's someone you're getting an icky vibe from, please, they, they can they can go away. Unfriend them even so that you don't see them. <laughs> you know, um, so that's okay too. Um, so let's talk a little bit about posting. The next 15 minutes should be kind of thinking about your posts. Let's start really thinking about our posts every day. The three questions I ask myself, am I educating, inspiring, or entertaining? So those are the three things I like to ask myself before I post. Is this educational, inspiring, or entertaining? Like I'll make a post that's completely out of left field and people will just laugh at it. Like, and that's, so that was just an entertaining post. It served no purpose, but for me to entertain, to show my personality, right? To show who I am. Um, so those are really fun. Um, am, I, am I educating them on what I just did in my workout or how I eat clean or my water intake or, you know, something, something that's educational that might, that might relate to your health and fitness or it might relate to a piece of your story in your life. Like I find the, the posts I share um, about Sammy and her anxiety and how we deal with those, those that's kind of a little educational, right? Like, you know, just from my experience, I'm not teaching from textbook educational, but I think that's a little, I get a lot of comments when I share about Sammy's anxiety. Like there's like every time I share a piece of her story, I get three private invites, mostly from local people asking me who her therapist is. <laughs> so, um, you know, so that's one of those you know, things, and I, and I, and I asked her permission to share too, um, cause she's almost 13 now. So I say, can I share this piece of your story? Um, cause it's her story to share, but she allows me to use that. So, um, as your kids get older, you know, you gotta kind of ask, um, you know, am I, in my inspiring and my two inspiring posts a day, I would say are my first two posts of the day. My first one is always a selfie. Um, sometimes it shows more of my body. Sometimes it shows just my face. Depends how bloated I feel when I wake up <laughs> or what the outfit looks like. Um, and that selfie tells a story. It tells an inspiring story every morning. Um, it, so it, I don't just go, good morning, happy Monday. Right? Like it's got, I say something. I Wow, last night I was, you know, I think this morning's was about the Super Bowl and being tired, but my shirt said we got work to do. It was a Transform 20 shirt, so it was like perfect. So I was able to tell a story through my shirt, through the Super Bowl last night, and get the day started. Um, so people might stop and think, okay, if she stayed up for the Super Bowl and she's still getting up to work out in the morning, damn, I could probably do this too. I probably shouldn't have slept in or something, right? And so that 
you know, I get my day started with a selfie at around 6 a.m. And I do that. And then my next ed, um, inspirational post is uh, clips of me working out. And I've been sharing my um, numbers on the transformers as well. And so I didn't, sh I don't just like check it off and go workout done. I try to think, okay, what can I share today about my workout? You know, what, what was going on in my head when I was listening to Shanti? How can I get this across to other people? Or how could I talk about a year ago? I was despising leg day. And now I absolutely love doing lunges and squats, you know, because my knee was so bad, but I, it was, I was babying it for so long that it was so weak. It had nothing to do with it being a bad knee. I just was like babying it because I was afraid I was going to tear my meniscus again, even though it had already been repaired years ago. Right. And so I'll talk about that. And so I'll talk about my story of having polycystic ovarian syndrome and, and what that means that time of the month for me, you know, like, and, and so I, again, every time I share that, I get private messages. Oh my gosh, I have PCOS too. How do you deal? You know, so there's just a lot that you can be sharing. And then throughout the rest of the day, I'm sharing the kids, the dogs, the weather, you know, funny memes or videos or whatever. So the rest of the day is just fluff, right? But I make sure, but then sometimes I have something really good that I'll say again. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I've already done two beach body posts. Tough. They're getting a third today because I got something to say. Like, don't stress about this. Don't be like, ooh, I already posted. Just, who cares? If it's on your mind, post again. Or put it in your notes on your phone and save it for the next morning. You know, whatever you got to do, but don't lose it. Don't let it go to waste. If it's a really good post, and you're like, oh, damn, I would listen to me if I posted this. Get it out there, you know, and don't stress that you already did one or two or three. It's all good. <laughs> Who cares? Because honestly, you guys, not everybody sees all, like, I'll never forget the first year in this business, my stepdad messaged me. And he's like, all I see is you on my newsfeed. And I'm like, because you have 60 friends. Like, you're not going to see anybody else. So chances are the people on your newsfeed have hundreds of friends. They're not seeing all five of your posts that day. They're seeing one, you know, or unless they love you so much and they purposely go to check out all your stuff and they're not going to care that you posted eight times because they love you and want to go check out all your stuff. Okay. And the fourth 15 minutes of your day, the five, and this doesn't, this can be in any order. But if invites and connections are the things that you put off to be number four, make that number one. I'm going to challenge you to make that number one. So this, um, the next is your personal development. Making sure you're getting that personal development in. Um, make sure you're reading the right books. Make sure you're listening to the right authors. Make sure you're, if you're feeling burnt out in this business, like, and, and you're starting to feel desperate and you're starting to go, I really need to make money at this or my husband's going to make me quit or something like that. Like something negative is coming in. Please take 24 hours to do none of this on this list. Actually 48 hours. Don't do anything on this list except personal development. Do, I want you to unplug, relax, chill out. Nothing bad is going to happen if you miss two days of connections and invites and just, just immerse yourself in personal development. Please make sure you are listening, reading the right personal development. It's so, it's so funny that Tracy posted this morning, kind of something so similar to me. Um, so last night, so, um, and the Beachbody Champions page, they keep posting tips from Team Cup people. And one of them was like, everybody read the same personal development book. And I'm like, okay, this is perfect because the personal development book I was reading, it was Brene Brown and it was Dare to Lead. And I loved it until these last 50 pages. I'm like torturing myself to get through it. I'm like, what is happening? I don't know any, I'm not connecting with this. I'm not. And for some, and I know this eight and a half years later, but for some reason I was like, I got to finish it. <laughs> like I, but I was mindlessly reading five pages a day for no, and I was like, oh, great. Right. But the first three quarters of this book, I was like, yes, 
like and it was I was loving it and then I just it just wasn't I don't know the topic is just weird to me or just not connecting with me I'm like I don't really I don't know so we decided on the go-giver or I decided on the go-giver I was like oh let's read the go-giver again because anytime I'm in a personal development funk like not a funk but I'm like oh I need something new I need something fresh I go to my top three favorite books life's golden ticket the Go-Giver, and The Energy Bus. Those are like my three top books. Do you know why? Because they read like a story. They tell me a story. So there's times in our lives, so I'll say those again, Life's Golden Ticket, The Go-Giver, and The Energy Bus. They're all written as a story. And I love that. Like when I need something deep, like, and so I read, so Tracy had posted, oh my gosh, she listened to it yesterday instead of going snowmobile. And it was exactly what she needed to listen to. And I read the first chapter and a half today. And I was like, yes, this is what I'm writing. And this is what I want right now. Like it just got me so excited again. And it's literally the third, fourth, fifth time I've read it. But I forgot it. Like, it, I was like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, I remember the story. <laughs> like, I just got all excited again and because I'm, it, it's something that I need right now. And so you've got to make sure that that's something you need. Um, I was talking to someone today, um, and they were asking, and I was like, you need to be reading this and then this and then this, and you should probably have all three of those books going at the same time and just read, you know, from each one each day if you can do something like that and mix it up that'll be good too like if you could do life's golden ticket and then throw in some get over your damn self which is more of a workbook for network marketing then do you know that's good too um but if you're a person who's like no i gotta finish the book that's okay i don't want to mess with your mojo you do what you gotta do so um so yeah so those are the four things after you know your why after you journal, you listen to your music, you're pumped up, you're ready for the day, you're going to get your list, you're going to make it, you're going to add to it for 15 minutes, set a 15 minute timer on your phone if you have to. Um, then you're going to connect and invite with 10 people, then you're going to think about your social media posts. In that 15 minutes of your social media post time, get at least one up. Um, in that time too, you can plan for other ones. I'm like a whim. I just post on a whim, but I know people like to plan and that's okay. So take that time to plan a couple posts and then do your personal development. Again, not necessarily in that order, but those are the four. You've got to have your list ready before you connect an invite. Um, but you could certainly do your personal development right after your music. If you wanted to keep that mojo going. Um, I tend to like to end sometimes with personal development just to go, okay, I did it all right. I did what I was supposed to do. It feels good, you know? So, um, but you just find your way through all of this stuff for sure. And if you are a new coach listening to this Getting Started Right call, please message your coach and say, I just listened to the Getting Started Right call. I'm going to purchase the book, The Go-Giver, whatever book you choose. Um, my why is this, and I'm ready to work. Okay, it's very important as a new coach, as a coach who's getting started, um, to message your coach often. I messaged my coach every day, multiple times a day for the first 90 days that I worked this business. I, multiple times a day. And I shared in a live video today in the Team Passion Coaches page, some of the messages would be ignored by him because they were questions that I could find in the FAQ. And he purposely ignored me on them and I caught on pretty quickly. I'm like, okay, it's making me work. And that to me um, is something I need to work on because I answer questions way too fast. <laughs> I'm like, oh, they're eager. Okay, let me tell them the answer. Um, but there are times where I'll say, oh, you can find that in the, in the frequently asked questions, especially if I'm running out or something's going on. I'm like, ah, yeah, thank you that. Um, but um, it might be a, a male to female thing. We, we're eager to help and want to please everyone where they don't mind ignoring you. <laughs> um, but I'll work on that. 
All right, so what other questions, concerns, maybe if somebody else is, is a veteran coach here and has tips, more of what I said, all good. Whatever you got to say. I have a couple tips. Can I jump yes, in? Sarah. Okay, so this has been working really well to build my list. Is I go through my memories, my memories um, section in Facebook every day, and it's a great place to look for posts that I made in the past that were inspiring, or to pull like previous um, like transformation photos. Because sometimes you don't keep them all in your phone, but at the very, very bottom, it shows all the people that you um, sent you added as friends on that day. So I'll add them onto my list. And I send them a, hey, it's so fun to see you. Facebook reminded me this is our friend anniversary, and just kind of like touch base, especially if there's someone I haven't talked to in a while. And then I also do the same thing with birthdays. So I just am adding them on to my list as I go. Yes, perfect. Perfect, thank you. I didn't know there was a Facebook memories section that you can look up. <laughs> I just wait so for them to come up for me. <laughs> oh my gosh, I get so many of my posts there. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna reshare that. <laughs> nice, okay, good one. Well, let's check that out. I'm excited. Oh, cool. Yes, and I think one of the, um, so Becky says, keep adding to your list, make more friends, join a group um, that you have a hobby with. She is in an American Bulldog group she's passionate about, so she connects with people, yeah. That's another great way to add people to your list. And I went over in the Beachbody Champions page, but I, we also have a training on this called um, Tracking Systems under YouTube um, Team Passion Training channel. It's called Tracking Systems, and I went over it in the Beachbody Champions page. But as you have your master list, you're going to start a follow-up list in a um, index card system. So kind of look that up. I've trained on it a couple times now, so you can do that. Yeah, so Tracy, we should have, so the Beachbody Champions page has a really, have really good Instagram trainings. Um, so I, I think a lot of people have found a lot of people on Instagram. I think um, it's finding you, I haven't found my hashtags that won't attract peach body coaches. <laughs> and I don't do anything peach body related. Like I I hashtag my dog's breed and like Disney World. And like, I'm like, why are all these peach body coaches still following me? Um, so I think it's finding your right, your right hashtags. But I've started um, on Instagram, I've started like going to, um, going to like say the New England Patriots page or Tom Brady's page and I've looked at all the comments and if there are I try to choose about 10 people and if there are people that look appealing to me look like someone would be in my tribe I just start following them I'm, I've stopped stressing about the whole like ratio of how many people you should be following to how many people should be following you there's like so many rules like that that deter me from Instagram that I've decided to let those all go and just do whatever I can to figure this thing out because that's where a lot of people are and I've got to figure it out because I can't, I, I can't keep just relying on Facebook, you know? So, um, but yeah, it's supposed to be like, you're supposed to be following less people that are following you. I'm like, whatever. Or, you know, someone, I did an Instagram training and the girl's like, do not post unless it looks like this. And I'm like, oh, okay. I can't, no. <laughs> like, right? So, um, but I would recommend going to the Beachbody Champions page and watching those Instagram ones. Jen Richardson has a really good one that people really connected with in there. Um, but again, like there, and Jatana Jackson is really good at all the Instagram trick tips and stuff too. Um, but she's Miss Virginia. <laughs> Like she's great, but she looks amazing in everything. <laughs> so follow her tips, <laughs> but know that you don't have to um, look like her. <laughs> so, 
So you just have to be careful on all of that as well. Um, but Lewis Howes did a good Instagram webinar that I did. He did it. He does free webinars, how to get your first, how to get 10 K followers. Um, and that was pretty good. He, he gave some good tips in the, in that, um, free hour. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Anything else? So this call will be uploaded to YouTube, um, our Team Passion Training channel. So anytime, so you wanna make sure you're subscribed to that so that you get notice anytime a video is uploaded to that. Um, and we will just keep doing what we're doing. Make sure you're in the Team Passion Coaches page and you're following along there. This week we're doing our Coach Basics and you know we have a lot going on. If you go to teampassiontraining.com, there's an event calendar so you know everything that's happening this month um, and how to make sure that you're completely staying plugged into the team because the worst thing you can do is get completely overwhelmed with everything and run away. Like it's just do these four things every day for an hour and then if you're like, I, I just, I can't do anything else or I don't understand that training or I have no idea what that person just said, either ask or don't stress about it yet. One of the things with the coach modules, I highly recommend you go through all those five modules, but then you go through a coach basics, you start signing up your first customers, your first coaches, go through those modules again, because they're going to make way more sense the second time around and the third time around. Your coach will help you with the share of cards, with how to sign up your coaches. Like that stuff is not what I'm going to go, that's not something I go over on these calls. Um, because your coach can kind of help you with that, but they're also in the coach modules. So um, that's there for you too. So kind of take ownership, take responsibility, know that this is your business. Don't wait for your coach to tell you what to do. It's up to you to kind of jump out there and, and learn things and get things going and, um, you know, learn on your own time and don't get overwhelmed, lean in, plug in, ask questions. We do a team passion business activity tracker post every day in the team passion coaches page. And it's not only good for you to just post in there, these four things that you did, but it's also good for you to read everybody else's posts because you're going to get some really good ideas from other people. There's a lot of power in reading through that business activity tracker comment section. All right. Thank you, everybody. Have a great night and we will see you on social media. Good night. Thanks, Nicole. Thank you.